A multi-state manhunt is underway for a U.S. Army reservist. Police say fatally shot 18 people last night in Maine. More than a dozen, dozen others wounded in those attacks. Authorities say Robert Card, who had been committed to a mental health facility over the summer, reported hearing voices and threatened to shoot up a military base. Fox 4's Sean Rabb in studio tonight with more on the story. Sean. Yep, and some reports coming out of Maine today say the two places where the shootings occurred, those businesses, are places he would frequent with an ex-girlfriend. Now, that is not confirmed. Uh, what is confirmed, though, is that he is still on the loose, considered armed and dangerous, and military trained to survive. Our reality for today is that this, this suspect is still at large. A massive Maine manhunt for 40-year-old Robert Card, the suspect in Wednesday night's mass shooting at two locations in Lewiston, Maine, a restaurant and bowling alley. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I don't think you're supposed to see that in real life. This man in the bowling alley where the first shooting took place at 6.56 Wednesday evening. He initially thought it was a balloon popping. As soon as I turned and saw that it was not a balloon, he was holding a weapon, I just booked it um, down the lane and I slid basically into where the pins are and climbed up in the machine and was on top of the machines for about 10 minutes until the cops got there. The second shooting, 12 minutes later, at a bar in this town of 37,000. All Maine people are sharing in the sorrow of the families who lost loved ones last night. <clears throat> loved ones, normal people who were killed or injured while unwinding from a day of work or while spending time with their family and friends socializing. 14 of the wounded taken to one medical facility. The hospital had to call in staff to help. One of the challenges with identifying patients early on was the speed at which our teams needed to act. Uh, we had the first patient arrive at 7.24 p.m. and over the next 45 minutes, uh, we received a total of 14 patients. Robert Card identified through the registration of his vehicle that was abandoned, a trained firearms instructor in the Army Reserves. This summer, while training at West Point, Card was taken to an Army psych ward for evaluation, reportedly hearing voices. It is not clear how he had a high-powered rifle following his military mental health episode. The statutes around firearms and the possession of those are pretty complex. I know that we'll, we will be reviewing that information as we move forward, but that's not an answer that we're prepared to give today. The White House lowering flags, the somber symbol of national mourning, this time in Maine a state with a population roughly the same as the city of Dallas. This city did not deserve this terrible assault on its citizens, on its peace of mind, on its sense of security. No city does, no state, no people. Flags have been ordered lowered across the nation for the next five days. The White House again calling for a ban on assault-style weapons. Robert Card's family reportedly assisting authorities as best they can in the search, and right now, FBI hitting some homes connected to Robert Card.